economic times, so many people losing their jobs, a lot of people have to look for a way to reinvent themselves to make a success of their lives. And one Long Island man has found success in plastics. We have been waiting for this story all day. Tupperware, to be exact. Robert Suhan's sister tried her hand at it, but she didn't have any luck. Suhan tried a different approach by taking a cue from Aunt Barbara. Robert Suhan, the top-selling Tupperware consultant in the country, joins us now in studio. But, I mean, Aunt Barbara, right? Right. Aunt Barbara. When you throw Tupperware parties, this is the get-up, right? What, is get-up insulting? I can't believe she said that. This is what I typically wear. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's kind of tasteful myself. I think it's fabulous. Tell me, it came, nice? tell me how you came across Aunt Barbara and how it's been a success. Well, the character of Aunt Barbara really was created with inspiration from my own Aunt Barbara and from many other women uh, who've inspired me throughout my life. And when it came to selling Tupperware, I wanted to pair it with someone who I thought would have the sales ability to sell a large amounts of Tupperware and also to get my foot in the door to sell to women. Yeah, you, you look like you might have a lot of makeup and accessories that might need Tupperware containers to hold them in. <laughs> let, let me ask you, let me get to the nitty gritty a little bit here. Sure. What did you do before and how much how much money are you making doing this now? Well, I do have a full-time day job during the day mm -hmm. and then I do this part-time at night. I originally started doing it because I wanted extra money. Yeah. And then I started selling and it started taking off. And I did one party, I did two parties. From that came 10 parties and then 20 parties. And, and is it that um, this I is... I go where the need is. Is, yeah. it, is it so entertaining for them? It's not just friends like twisting your arm trying to get them to buy jewelry or candles well, or you know I what love it is Tupperware. What are you talking about? Uh, so There's no arm twist. Those are two bowls for you dears, aren't those? You brought wonderful? us absolutely oh, I love a it ten cup servalia bowl. But I'm keeping this no matter what. Ten cup servalia bowl. Here's what happens with Tupperware. You know, traditionally Tupperware parties in the fifties and sixties, women would come in, they would invite their friends in the neighborhood, and it was a chance for them to get away for the, from the children. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. And also to show off their new Broyhill and draperies. Right. But nowadays women really Really needed uh, a little bit more fun. Aunt Barbara's just yeah. bumping Maybe it up some a notch. Cocktails or a couple cocktails, like a few games. You gotta tell us what Aunt you do Barbara. during the day. It seems like you're trying to. Oh, <laughs> you don't want to say I'm that. I didn't want to say it. <laughs> okay, okay, never mind. How, how much how did you money? sell last year? Yeah, see, we want to know about the money because we're much? thinking about doing this on the side. Uh, I think. Aunt Barbara will sign you up as soon as the yeah. show is over. Do you make a lot of money doing Tupperware? You know, I want you make as much or as little as you want to make. It depends. I started out just needing a few extra dollars, and now it's a part-time job has turned into a full-time career. And what were your sales last year? I sold part-time, I uh, believe it was just over $100,000 wow. in Tupperware. And, and how many bowls is that? Oh, like 100000 A lot of bowls. No. Yeah. Most of the women buy them on sale. Mm -hmm. But what does your sister think? Because we said that she had tried her hand at Fred at first and now you're just beating her. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's a little miffed at it, but I'm trying to bring her in and train her. She's just not catching She it. could have tried Aunt Barbara, but maybe she needs Uncle Benny instead, right? She, there you go. Everyone needs a gimmick. Everyone needs an edge to get into the, into the door. Whether it be that you're good at cooking, good at baking, you're, you can sing, whatever it is, you've got to entertain people. Oh, can you do, sing? No, that I don't do. Oh. The contestant's the one that generally sings on the show. Do they give you a percentage? I mean, how does how does it work? And you get no, like any like any like any sales position, you get you get a percentage, yeah. and then based on what you sell, you get bonuses and you qualify for prizes and different things. Well, Robert, Aunt Barbara, yes. we Barbara. love having you in. Yes. It's, and, and by the way, an inspiration for people who feel desperate. Quit stealing. That's my type of thing. <laughs> I don't even think you cook. I'm Thank you so it. much.